Welcome, here I've got Oppo A54 5G and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promoter at this device. So at first we have to tap on the camera button to open it and for now we are in the standard photo mode. So let's change it by using this settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. Here we have access to other modes of this camera and one of this is the promote called it also as an expert. So let's tap here. Here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. So let me start with this settings bar. Let's go from the right. The first one button here is the exposure compensation. So we get access here to kind of light managing by using this slider and going to the right we can make our picture more bright. By going to the left we can make it more dark. At the center we have zero parameters, so there's no problem to go back to auto exposure compensation. Now let's move to the next one option. Here we have letters AF from autofocus. Let's change them by using this slider to MF to the manual focus. And here we can easily focusing as we need. Of course we can also go back to autofocus by tapping on this button from the right with A letter and, and now we are again on AF. Let's tap to the center button with WB from white balance. Here we can control the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees by using this slider. And going to the left, we can make our photo more cold, more blue. By going to the right, we can make it more warm, more orange. So this is how it works. It depends from the light we have in the area where we take a picture. And of course, we can easily go back to out white balance by tapping again on a letter button from the right. So now this is on the auto settings. Let's move to the next one option, the shooter speed. Here we can change the time of taking picture and by going to the left, we can make it shorter. The shortest is one and eight thousand of seconds. So this is really short. This should be definitely better to objects, for example, that are in move to frozen them at the picture with a good light. By going to the right, we can make our time much longer. And the longest here is 32 seconds. This should be better to objects that are stable at our picture. And of course, we can easily go back to auto shooter speed by again tapping on a letter button from the right. And let's move to the last one option, the ISO. Here we can manage the camera's sensitivity to light and we can make it less sensitive from 100 by going to the right on slider, we can make it more sensitive to six and four thousand of it. So this is really wide spectrum, like this kind of camera. Of course, to go back to auto we saw, um, we have to tap to a letter button once again. So this is how to use all of these settings. Now let's move to the right side and this I letter button. When we tap here, we can read about all of these parameters and also learn from this. So I think this uh, is really useful here. And now let me use the settings to take the picture. So let's tap to exposure compensation and maybe a little bit brighter, defocusing here. Or maybe let's stay on autofocus because uh, I don't have really well conditions to adjust it correctly. Let's move to white balance. Maybe let's move to colder one, the shooter speed here and the ISO maybe here. To see the photo, let's move to the left button that follows us straight to the gallery. And this is how it looks like. I suggest you to making experiments with all of the settings and just have a good fun. Thanks for watching, subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up.